I'm here today in Harald Birke to meet some staff from Aquafin, which is just behind me. The company specialises in wastewater treatment and I've come to find out more about their flexibility project. Jeroen, uh, Aquafin is quite a large consumer of electricity, is that correct? Yes, Aquafin uh, is responsible for the transport and the wastewater treatment. Uh, of the household wastewater in Flanders and also for the associated sludge treatment. Therefore, we have uh, about 2,000 pumping stations, more than 300 wastewater treatment plants, and these are very energy intensive processes. So, electricity consumption sums up to about 280 gigawatt hours a year, which equals 0.7% of the electricity consumption in Flanders. And you produce a lot of your own electricity on this site here? Yes, we do. Uh, we have a lot of sites with uh, solar parks, uh, but we also have some centralized sludge treatment sites where we produce biogas out of biological sludge. This biogas is a valuable source uh, because by combusting the biogas in a biogas engine, we can produce heat, but we also can produce electricity. And recently you installed a smart control system onto your biogas engine. Could you tell us a bit more about this? We installed this uh, smart control system because we also have a biogas balloon and this biogas balloon is a storage capacity which is equivalent to about 150 household batteries. Previously this biogas balloon was only controlled by the level in the balloon, so when the level was high the engine was activated randomly throughout the day. By also looking at parameters like grid injection and they had market prices, we came to a smart control system of this biogas engine. Firstly, uh, we try to reduce grid injection by optimizing auto consumption. For example, when solar production is high, we don't need to start up this biogas engine. Secondly, we try to activate the biogas engine at moments that market prices are high. In this way, not only valorizing the production at our own site, but also supporting the grid at moments that electricity is scarce. And uh, was it difficult or challenging to install this new system at all? Well, indeed, it was quite challenging because at our production sites, we have a control system based on a local PLC with local data and a local control algorithm. For this new smart control system, we needed connection to the cloud and this was quite a challenge and needed digital transformation. On top of that, uh, of course, the financial benefits for Aquafin are important. Uh, with this pilot project, we think we will have a financial gain of about 20,000 euros. Moreover, corporate social responsibility will be more and more important in the future, I think for all companies. And if we want to uh, contribute to the energy transition, it's important to not only look uh, within our own company, but also look for partnerships uh, and see how we can contribute to the society and to the flexibility needed uh, in society. Are there any other flexibility projects of this kind on the horizon at all? Yes, uh, we do already have a large-scale emergency diesel engine active on the Alia ancillary services uh, already a few years. Uh, besides this, of course, with the project of the smart control of the biogas engine, we are exploring other sites, other processes, maybe other flexibility mechanisms we can use. And finally, we also have decided to uh, put in place a large-scale battery at a site where the risk of flooding is very high. And with this battery, uh, we could also uh, contribute to the uh, ALIA ancillary services. And finally, if you had to give one piece of advice to other companies who would be interested in providing flexibility for the grid, what would that be? Well, I think for every company it can be useful just to look at the possibilities and maybe it's not uh, easy to start with it, but there is a lot of expertise out there at academic level in the energy consultant companies, but also directly at the aggregators which are really specialized on this topic. So just start with it, look at it and see uh, what it can contribute to your company. Just keep exploring, basically. Thank you. If your company is interested in valorizing its flexibility, you can visit Elia's new website, whatshappening.be, for further information.